Hello and welcome to Ting's unboxing of the CoolPad Quattro 2 4G LTE. Now this device comes inside a nice green and white box. There's some spec and feature info on the back showing that it runs 4.1 Jelly Bean, has a 5 megapixel camera, a 4.5 inch QHD display, a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, and a bit of other info. Let's open the box and here is the Quattro 2 itself. So this is definitely one of the best sub-200 devices available from Ting. Uh, it runs Jelly Bean with almost no bloatware, supports 4G LTE, has a removable battery and up to 32 gigabytes of extra storage. And we're also giving one of these away, uh, and to find out how you can win, watch to the end of this video. And I think we'll first take out everything inside the Quattro 2's box. So here is the charging and sync cable. I will lay that down. And next is the wall adapter to be used with the charging or sync cable. Next is the card that the SIM card actually comes inside, and you don't have to worry about this because the SIM card will automatically come inside your device. And here are the CoolPad help and get started guides. You don't need to use either of these, just head to our online help desk or give us a call if you're having any trouble. And last thing in the box is the battery. So this battery is actually an 1800 milliamp battery, which will give you 13 hours of talk time. And this is everything that comes inside the CoolPad Quattro 2's box. Now we'll compare the Quattro 2 with two other smartphones. The first device we'll compare with is the iPhone 5, um, which has a smaller screen at only 4 inches. But uh, if you look at thickness, um, the iPhone is actually 0 0.30 inches thick versus 0.42 inches thick of the Quattro 2. The next device we will look at is a Nexus 5. So the Nexus 5 is bigger than the Quattro 2 at a 5 inch screen versus the 4.5 inch screen of the Quattro 2. And in terms of thickness, the Nexus 5 is thinner at 0.34 inches. But honestly, for under $200, I would totally be comfortable with taking a device that's a little bit thicker. Now we'll look at the physical features of the device. On the right side is a power button. On the left side, we see the volume rocker up and down. The bottom includes an auxiliary port or headphone jack alongside a micro USB charging port. There is nothing on the top. On the front of the device is a VGA camera, while the back includes a 5 megapixel camera with a flash just next to it. And now I think I will take off the back so we can check out underneath. So up above is the micro SD card slot, where you can actually add up to 32 gigabytes of extra storage, and that is on top of the four gigabytes of internal storage that you already get. And second, you see, is the SIM card for the Quattro 2. Um, your device will already be shipped with this inside, so just make sure to leave it alone and you're good to go. So I think I'm gonna pop the battery back in and close the back, and then we'll check out the Quattro 2's operating system. So I'm going to boot this up, we'll give it a sec, and then we'll get into the OS. So now that the device is booted up and ready to go, as I mentioned before, the screen size is 4.5 inches and a QHD display. The operating system feels nice and smooth. It's running Android Jelly Bean that's very close to stock Android. Uh, there are three physical buttons at the bottom, the first being back, the second being home, and the third being menu. And this menu button is one of the main deviations from stock Android. Uh, however, you'll notice that the System Settings button uh, just brings up the basic settings menu, exactly what you'd see on any stock Android device like the Nexus 5. Uh, desktop Manage is actually pretty cool, where you can quickly add or remove home screens. Uh, you just hold for a sec and drag to the top to get rid of a screen. Um, the App Drawer also might be pretty familiar to you. Um, it's actually the same as Jelly Bean's stock Android App Drawer, and as well, the Widget Drawer looks the same. And since this is basically stock Android, your device won't be packed with extra customization tools. This is actually a good thing because Google Play offers every type of customization you'd ever want. Keyboards, notification bars, home screens, texting apps, you name it. Ting is giving away one CoolPad Quattro 2 to a lucky viewer. To be entered to win, subscribe to the Ting YouTube channel and leave a comment telling us about a comparable smartphone that you're also interested in buying. If you're too late for the contest, you can buy this device right now. It's only $198 and available from ting.com shop, or click the annotation above me. 
Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos.